is this morning. All right, we are going to do our weekly segment. And oh, do I have a? Wow, we got markers flying all over the place here. All right, let, first let's bring Chris Creed, Chris B. Door in from 92.3 The Fan. Hi, Chris. Good morning, guys. Sorry, morning, Chris. Uh, sorry with that big intro. I didn't couldn't spin it out as well as I would like to. That's but okay. uh, are no you problem. are you ready to rate the team, my friend? I am. I'm ready. All right. The other guy that rates the team is this man, Kenny Rhoda. Kenny, thank you for coming back. Appreciate it. Got my Sharpie and my papers in hand, ready to grade. <laughs> All right, you're ready to grade. All right, we are going to go. Uh, Eric, I'll uh, let you call the topics. Go ahead, first one. All right, let's go with the coaching. Coaching. Yesterday, Chris Fedor, you're first. Let's get a grade from you. Oh, my goodness. Coaching. Well, does this include special teams coaching yep. and everything? I'm assuming yes. Oh, I'll, I'll speak for Eric. Yes. Okay, well, in that case, I'll go with a D+. Plus. Special teams was awful. I thought the offensive game plan was pretty poor as well. I thought the execution was bad, too. I thought defensively, um, they were well coached, and, and they did what they had to do defensively. But the other two areas, special teams and offense, really brings this grade down. So that's what I'm going to go with. Okay, go ahead. Let's go. Next stop is for Kenny Rhoda. Kenny, what is yours? D. Okay, yeah, you explain. Can read that. Not bad, huh? I, I stayed between the lines. That was a good color when I was a kid. Uh, um, I think when you look at this game uh, overall, defensively, they did a nice job. You're up 13 nothing, so at that point, you're thinking the grade's going to be an A, and then all hell broke loose, and you give up 31 consecutive points. I'm, I'm writing my um, uh, my blog for KennyRoto.com, guys, and I, I was trying to remember the last time a team lost momentum so quickly and had such a poor quarter or a stretch of football, and you know what I came up with, guys? A couple of years ago, Ohio State at Nebraska. They were up 27-6. to six. Remember that? And yes. Bill Pickle was the coach? Yep. And they lost 34-27 to 27 in that game and gave up 28 consecutive points, and they had no way to stop the momentum. That's the last time I can remember a team losing momentum and losing the game that quickly. All right, Kenny Rhoda, thank you. We'll come back to you in a second. We do our next grade. Now we come back here. I'll give you my grades here. First of all, it's an overall grade, so you've got to put special teams in there. And when you give up 31 points in a quarter, you're going to get a D. Unfortunately, though, I've got to give Ray Horton and the defense an A. Because when you go back and look at yesterday's stats, Ben Jarvis Green-Ellis only had 62 yards, and Andy Dalton was 13-27, uh, to 27, quarterback rating of 62.7 and 93 yards. The defense did what they needed to do yesterday, but the other two thirds, horrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going with it too. I'm going. I'm going with the D. There's no question about it. I, they could. I thought first of all, the two calls early in the game where you're sacrificing field goals for touchdowns it, that bothered me. The fact that you cannot, you, you get one punt blocked, I can understand, but you don't make adjustments and get another punt blocked in the same quarter uh, you have a chance to go back and look at what you did wrong the first time you could look at pictures you know i'm not saying film you just go look at the pictures they're taking pictures the whole damn game take a look and make an adjustment they didn't do that ray horton's offense or defense an a but with an a and an f you got yourself a d all right just a reminder if you want to skype in on the show dogs on the run the phone line is 216-431-3820 uh what is our next topic eric uh, we got one more we got a great hit from slime it's coming up okay. all right um, we're going to go with wow, quarterback way to be prepared. Play. Quarterback. There's, there's so much so much badness that it's hard to choose. But All right, you want to go Jason Campbell? Yes. All right, boys, take two seconds to think about it. Your grade for Jason Campbell. Grade for Jason Campbell. We'll start with Kenny Rhoda. Hi, Kenny. An F. He gets a big, fat F <laughs> because he changed the, the momentum of the game. That interception he threw at the end of the first quarter – was the beginning of the avalanche of negativity yesterday in that football game, and he followed it up with a couple of more interceptions later in the game, and he was just looking like he was totally befuddled and confused out there, throwing checkdowns right away. He was horrible yesterday, guys. Now, some of that might have had to do with the play calling. I don't know, but whatever it was, he didn't execute whatever was supposed to be executed. And, and that old line from John McKay, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, what did you um, – Think of uh, your team's offensive execution. Uh, yes, I agree. They should have been executed. So uh, I give him an F. <laughs> All right. I am going to come back here. We're going to switch it up just a little. I'm going to give him a D for yesterday because I have a feeling we're going to find out today that his ribs were still a little banged up. Not that that's an excuse. And also, I think the turning point yesterday wasn't so much Jason Campbell. And just hear me out on this. The turning point in yesterday's game when this team became sloppy was when they had the lead. Joe Hayden has the pick six. They're up. 
and what happens on the kickoff? They get a 15-yard holding call on a play where there should have been nothing on a kickoff. And it was at that point when I said to myself, this isn't good, and they're going to play sloppy. And I think really that was the turning point for me yesterday because that's not paying attention. When you're on the road, you can't have stupid penalties, and that was probably one of the dumbest penalties I've ever heard. Let's go to Chris Fedor. Chris, great. I agree with Kenny in terms of how bad he was, but I'm going to give it a D just because I think the weather played into it. I think the play calling played into it. But I'm going D for dreadful because Kenny's right. You know, that interception, when you've got the lead like you do, um, the one thing that you can't do is make mistakes. And that's what he was able to do against Kansas City to keep them close and against Baltimore to get that win. He played mistake-free football. We weren't sitting there scratching our head the way that we did with Brandon Whedon. But yesterday I was sitting there scratching my head on a couple of the throws that he made and a couple of the decisions that he made. I think the weather played into it. I think play calling played into it. But some of that loss has to be laid at his feet. you got to go out and you got to make plays, especially against a defense that was without their best defensive lineman, Geno Atkins, and their best cover cornerback in Leon Hall. I'm going D minus minus. Chris, a great point. Oh, go ahead. I'm going D minus minus, guys, because I think that was one of the worst games that Jason Campbell has played. It was the worst games, and I don't I don't think the ribs had anything to do with it. But I think he gave up. I think he absolutely gave up on the team, and I think that I think that filtered through the team. And you can tell when your leader on offense is given up, that's not a good sign. And I think that whole team knew that he had given up because there were a lot of plays they left out on their field, left out on the field, and checking down. Uh, and, and, and all of a sudden you go from that vision downfield where you throw a 75-yard touchdown pass and all of a sudden you bring the offense in. I tweeted out at one point, oh, great, we got the Colt McCoy offense back. This is awesome. This is exactly what they need to do. I think he gave up yesterday. It was a bad game for him. All right, just quickly, I'm just going to ask you, let's just wrap this up. Would you rather have a Jason Campbell that gave up or Brandon Weed down the field? It's yes or no. What do you want? At that point, bring, bring Brandon Weed Next back. week, starting against Pittsburgh, what do you want? Oh, he, Campbell starts. All right, good. I want to make sure. He starts. Uh, Fedor, answer that question. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater is my answer, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> All right, your answer. Um, uh, if I have to answer it, honestly, I'd probably go with Jason Campbell still. What sort uh, of two evils? I, I agree. All right, back to you, uh, Kenny, your last, your last thought on that. Go. Um, Jason Campbell. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. That was good. <laughs> I thought there was something following up with that. <laughs> that well, you're going to fall mean, off your chair. Those were my choices, and I'm not thrilled by either one. So, Jason Campbell. I, I saw Jason Whedon tweeted out a lot yesterday by different Browns fans. They kind of combined the two guys. Did you see that, Kenny? How many times? Uh, I, I got did to... see that, yes. Or I, I also saw Brandon Campbell. So, yes. You know, so either one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Kenny, we'll be joined by you in about 20 minutes again. We'll wrap up the show with you. So thank you, Kenny. We'll talk to you in a couple seconds. Chris, we'll listen to you on 92.3 The Fan. Outstanding, my friend. Sounds great, guys. All right, Thanks, Chris. Chris. Fedor also joining us does an amazing job on all platforms that he works on. We're going to hang up on him. All right, I want to go back. To, can we go to Slimans again, Eric? Yes. Terry's right, we'll go waiting back to for Slimans. us. Terry. We're going to talk to Terry, who's at Slimans, and we're going to do that. Hi, Terry. How are you? Hey, Terry. Good morning. How are you? Good. All right, what'd you order for breakfast? That's more important than talking about the Browns right now. You got that right. Uh, <laughs> a couple eggs, bacon. <laughs> That's it. Who's your hey, buddy who's next to you? Bringing up Brett? What are you bringing up Brad and Whedon for? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that, guy, that guy won't even be in the NFL next year. He will be. He'll be a backup oh, somewhere, God. unfortunately. Who's your buddy you're sitting with? That's Sal. The Sal Bricklayer, Local 8? Is that what it is? Yes, he is. Tell Sal him thank you for all his hard work and keeping Cleveland moving. A <laughs> little too windy for us to work today. Now, that's outstanding. Sal's watching the show. That's there where you go. go. Yeah. Tell him thank you. <laughs> what did you think of the game yesterday, Terry? I gave up on it after the second quarter when uh, I'd say the Browns should punt, but they can't even do that right. So <laughs> they, uh, when, I saw that, when I saw that second block punt, I knew it was over after that. Yeah, you gave up uh, on the Browns like the Browns gave up on everybody there. How do they rebound? I mean, now they come back against the Steelers. Can they beat the Steelers this week, do you think? The way they're going now, the only thing, it used to be if they beat the Steelers when they had a season like this, it'd make up for the season, but now this is ridiculous now. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm over 25 years season ticket holder, and it's year after year after year. It's, I mean, I'm getting tired of it. It's, it makes, it's really hard to write that check every year now. i got to force myself to do it. The only reason I go down there anymore is to see my friends. 
<laughs> no, I'm a 4 a.m. tailgater. I'm down there at 4 a.m. every week. Jerry joining us on the Wayside Furniture Skype uh, hotline. I guess it would sort of be on the phone line, and uh, we got all kinds of like live lines Skype going on here. So, um, all right. So, do you have any hope or faith for the rest of the season? This season, yeah, negative. I don't. I mean, this is terrible. I, I'm very disappointed in them. And they're talking about making upgrades to the stadium. Why about fixing the team first? Get a quarterback. Invest the money in a quarterback. I think that I a mean, lot of fans. They, feel a lot of they're fans asking about for all this money. How about taking taking the money to fix up the stadium from these ten dollar beers they're charging for now? I mean, it's it's just ridiculous. Should be BYOB now. You, you got that right. I mean, <laughs> and then I, I was surprised they brought the bottles back to the stadium. Are they crazy? They brought cans. They brought cans back. It's ridiculous. Any other complaints? They're, Keep going. Well, just that, man. We're here to make you feel good. We're trying to. First of all, we got to make sure we get your info because we're going to send both of you guys a T-shirt. Yeah. If you guys can't oh, work today, great. you're great. both getting t-shirts. And that's it. Are you a bricklayer too? Now. Yes. You guys are yes. both bricklayers? Yes, sir, we are. Um, we we do other things other than bricklaying. No, we're up we're up in the air on swing stages all the time. It's a little too windy for us Ooh. to work today, and we work with heights all the time. Oh wow. Nutty. Well, I appreciate you guys and uh, thank you for all your hard work because uh, good union men like you uh, keep this city going, and we yep. appreciate it. And uh, all our building trades guys out there, thank you so much. Hey, thank you. And you have a harder job than I do nowadays. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> Today we do, but it's nothing compared to what you guys do. Hey, make sure you hang on the line there so we can get your information and send both you and Sal a T-shirt. Thank you. All right, tell Sal we said have a great day and great conversation with Sal. Have a great day, Sal. He's great. Hey, tell him to stop talking so much next yeah. time. Tell Sal next time quit reading War and Peace. <laughs> we'll see you. Thank you. All right, Terry. So no, 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 no. Well, no he's good. We can get Paul, it. We get his Paul, information. Get his Paul Bress will get tell his information. Tell Paul to get your information, or we'll tell Paul to. Thank you, guys. <laughs> That's a great shot. All right, there you go. Good stuff, Paul. That's that was good. a great shot. I got, hey, Eric, I got to give you a little credit. That was well done. Well done. I did something right for once? Yeah, for once. It only took can, you. Can I get uh, a cheer then? All right, you can have a cheer. That's your job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so how many t shirts have we given away today? That's my Too many to count. No way, I don't think we've given out even 10. The sales Stingy. team's calling me and just... Scrooge McReferee over there. Uh, Gerald is on the line. Hi, Gerald. You're on Dogs on the Run. Hey, Gerald. Gerald? I just want... I, I, you know, you guys stole my thunder earlier because oh. I was going to talk about Brandon Campbell McCoy, man. He just really sucked, man. He wasn't looking downfield at all. I wonder what happened there. What Are you surprised? Up? Are you surprised that we saw that kind of a game out of Jason Campbell? Well, not really surprised, but it's just like it was a, a, a effort for him to just to just look to the dump down man, the underneath man. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? And then with the special teams, wow, what happened there? That's the problem. I think it all started with special teams, and the, it just it was this bad, contagious like flu that went right through the team. And you give up 31 points in the second quarter, and you just can't get out of it. I'm sorry when you go right. down. When you're down, well, when you're down 21, you're in deep trouble. Yeah. And that's what you can't give points away in the NFL. They gave up 18 points in a matter of four minutes and 38 seconds. Even if you're upset about the the block punts or the fumble recovery, right. no excuse for the field goal at the end of the first half. None whatsoever. None. Right. Hey. It, it, it looked it, it looked like Saturday's game, uh, Mirror against Stowe, man. <laughs> it looked just like that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was four, and that was 43 to nothing, so. <laughs> right, right. And, and, you know, Miller scored four touchdowns in a matter of six minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, it was just deja vu, man. You know, like, I don't know what to do. I, I want to give up on them, man, but I'm down hard. You know what I'm saying? All right, don't give up on them. We'll see what happens. You got the Steelers this week. Do you start Jason Campbell against the Steelers? Man, you know what? Uh, like in the third quarter, man, I wanted to put Brandon Weed in so so bad. I know he ain't really all that good, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. We we, we probably should start the punter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that line alone, Eric, the referee, Gerald, you get a T-shirt. Okay, Gerald, right. hang on the line. We're gonna get you a T-shirt. Hang on, all right? I'm giving okay. him away. Like okay, crazy. all right, all right. You know, he made he made a good point though. I mean, I really thought at some point. I, believe me, I, I am all for Jason Campbell to start, but it, as that game, that shows you how little faith they have in Brandon Whedon. 
there was definitely some opportunities, Andy, for them to bring Brandon Whedon in that, that football game yesterday. As bad as things got, it was like they just need some kind of a change, some kind of a spark. I'm going to be honest with it you. At happened. no point during yesterday's game did I think about bringing Brandon Whedon in. When you're None. down. None. When you're down, what was it, 30? What was that? What was the halftime? 31 to 13 at the half? Yeah. You're not thinking that you, there's a chance you may see Brandon Whedon because they got the football to start the second half. Maybe no. out there. You're down 18. No, the only or, disappointment you have in, in – in uh, Jason Campbell in the first half is that they didn't get seven the first two times. Look, those points that they scored came off special teams and a fumble. I, I mean, I don't know how much you could have put on it on Jason Campbell in the first half. I'm sorry. I can't do that to him. And I still felt better about Jason Campbell in the second half than I did against Brandon, than I would have with Brandon Whedon. There is no faith in Brandon Whedon, zero. No, so. but that's obvious. All right, let's, uh, let's